business people are always interested in setting price. They want to understand if they have the ability to increase their prices of commodities that they sell. As and when the quantity of the commodity increases, the prices come down in the market. So we're trying to understand that price elasticity is essentially percentage change in quantity to percentage change in price. So if we have a graph wherein we mark this price versus quantity variation, the curve is the demand curve and the demand curve decreases as the quantity increases, the price goes low. Now, if this change, if it is a vertical line, then it is perfectly inelastic. If it is a horizontal line, that means it's perfectly elastic. Let's take a problem. Price of a bottle of Coke, which was $1, changes to $1.10. The demand decreases from 5 million units to 4.8 million units. Now, if I have to find out the price elasticity of a bottle of Coke, you figure out what is the quantity before and after. You figure out what is the price before and after per unit. You figure out the average of quantity as well as price. Then you understand what is the change that has happened, which is the after price minus the before price. Then if you take it as a ratio of change versus the average value, and you divide the quantity upon price, you will probably get the price elasticity. Now this price elasticity has a range of values. If it varies between minus one to plus one, that means it is inelastic. Now price elasticity of Coke is inelastic because it's minus 0.43. Price elasticity of demand is dependent on three factors. It's dependent on last time the price changed, the substitutes that are available and relative income that you spend on the good. In price elasticity of demand, we are looking at one commodity affecting another commodity and quantity change in one commodity affects the price change in another commodity. So when you think of the other commodity, it either has to be a substitute or a complement. Think of substitute like this. You know friends, right? Ross had his marriage and he wanted to call his best man and he wanted to choose between Joey and Chandler. They are substitutes of each other. Before you start handing out wedding rings and planning bachelor parties, don't you have to decide who your best man's gonna be? Oh, it's awkward. Thought I've already asked Chandler. Come on, Ross. Look, I don't have any brothers. I'm never gonna get to be a best man. You can be the best man when I get married. I'm never gonna get to be a best man. <laughs> There's only room for one so there isn't space for the other. Another great reference from friends is that wherever Joey goes, Chandler is right behind. So they're complement of each other. If we try to understand cross elasticity of demand as we described is percentage change of quantity divided by percentage change in price of the substitute or the complement. If it is positive, then it's substitute. These two commodities are substitutes of each other. If it is negative, then these two commodities are complements of each other. So let's take a look at the problem. If we have ice cream and we are selling it at $1.5 a unit and 600 units are sold every day. Now, price of yogurt increases from $1.25 to $1.75. The sale of ice cream changes from 600 units per day to 700 units per day. Now, we want to find out quantity of ice cream that has changed and the price of yogurt that has changed. We divide the change with the average value and then we find the cross elasticity. And if the cross elasticity is positive, then we say that uh, ice cream and yogurt are substitutes. So let's take another example. We have price of donuts and the quantity served every day is 800 per day. But the price of coffee changes from $0.75 to $1.25. Now we look at quantity of donuts. We look at the price of coffee before and after. We find the average value. We find the corresponding change. We find the ratio. And the cross elasticity is minus point by seven. Since cross elasticity is negative, coffee and donuts are complements. Essentially today we discussed about elasticity and cross elasticity. Elasticity is about the quantity change in one commodity affecting its own price. 
cross elasticity is quantity change in one commodity affecting another commodity. If the cross elasticity is positive, then it's essentially substitutes of each other. If the cross elasticity is negative, that means these commodities are complements of each other. So stay tuned and join us next time to understand more insights about the world that we live.